from sucking the blood out of a poor crab to using venom to cure diseases. Here are eight of the most expensive liquids from animals. Number eight, horseshoe crab blood. One look at the horseshoe crab and you might think you're seeing an ancient alien, but this curious creature has a special component in its blood that is the key to medical research for millions of people. The blood of the horseshoe crab is really special. On the one hand, it's blue. And on the other hand, even more importantly, it has a compound that allows it to coagulate quickly in the presence of endotoxins. These microbial byproducts can be harmful to humans. For this reason, this blood is the perfect natural test for the creation of vaccines. They're even being used in the race to find a cure for COVID-19. Not everything is rosy in this story. Unfortunately, recent studies estimate that about 15% of crabs do not survive the bleeding procedure, which explains the mortality of 20,000 to 37,500 horseshoe crabs per year. Yeah. It sounds painful, but scientists literally hook up horseshoe crabs to special machines to remove their blood for research. In addition, pollution and overfishing as well as habitat loss and sea level rise also threaten these animals. Being so beneficial definitely has its worth. On the world market, one gallon of horseshoe crab blood can cost up to $60,000, which generates overall industry revenue estimated at $50 million per year and is equivalent to the blood of approximately 250,000 horseshoe crabs. The crabs, which are more closely related to spiders than true crabs, continue to dwindle in numbers, which has led animal rights groups and conservationists to push for a synthetic alternative to milking the crabs for their blood. The problem is with over 30 years of safe and effective use, the current crab-derived blood is a tried-and-true method that just works better than lab-made blood, but it comes at a cost, and not just a financial one. In 2018, the blood harvest drained one-third of the vital fluids from the nearly 500,000 crabs in the United States. Even though the crabs are released back where they were originally caught, thousands still died in the process. With the race for a cure for COVID-19 and other diseases, the debate still lingers whether the risk of harming or possibly killing more horseshoe crabs is worth it. Number 7. Scorpion Venom If scorpions are one of the most deadliest creatures on Earth, why is their venom so expensive? The venom of the Death Stalker, one of the most dangerous scorpions on the planet, comes in at a whopping 39 million per gallon. With a sting that hurts 100 times more than one from a bee, the Death Stalker isn't very giving. Trying to get its venom takes quite a lot of patience, giving that with each milking, one would get only two milligrams of venom at best. Because it's so hard to get, and the fact that you would have to milk one scorpion 2.64 million times to fill a gallon, the price tag is a little more understandable. But inside that deadly venom, there are multiple useful components that can help bring breakthroughs in modern medicine. It is believed to have great promise in treating arthritis and multiple sclerosis. Chlorotoxins found in the venom are used to identify the size and location of tumors in humans. Scorpion venom has also been used to eliminate malaria and mosquitoes and has been given to rats to fight bone disease. Scientists hope that by doing this type of research, it can also help humans as well, but obtaining the venom from scorpions is not necessarily a safe task either, which is why a group in Morocco invented a remote-controlled machine to milk scorpions four times faster than a human could. So while these creatures are extremely deadly to humans, they also have beneficial properties, and making the process to obtain this astronomically expensive venom safer and faster can benefit everyone. Now, the number six. But first, tell me in the comments below, what is your position on us using these animals for research? And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Number six, funnel web spider. Would getting the venom from one of the world's deadliest spiders be worth it, knowing it may be able to fight in the war against cancer? The Australian funnel web spider, whose venom sells for $1,350 per gram, is a fang spider feared by many, but it helps to also combat pain, epilepsy, and stroke. The most toxic spider in the entire world is responsible for 30 to 40 bites on humans every year. Luckily, the antidote is so successful that no one has died from a funnel web spider bite since 1981. Funnel webs, after being caught, are taken to the Australian Reptile Park, the home of Australia's venom milking program. There, the powerful venom of these spiders is extracted and then sent to a lab to produce antivenom, only fatal to primates and insects. Funnel web venom is injected into rabbits who are not affected by the toxins. Although this may seem like a cruel practice, it allows researchers to harvest the antivenom which is used to neutralize the venom when injected into humans who have been bitten. 
with bites that are lethal to small children within minutes or hours and adults within 24 hours. This important research is a must to prevent deaths. The peak time for funnel web encounters is January and February in Australia, so you can bet that over the fall and winter, researchers are hard at work creating enough antivenom to prevent any fatalities. Number five, cone snail. The cone snail is not the average creature you would see in your neighbor's fish tank. Found in coastal communities and often traded for their beautiful shells, these snails are actually a deadly predator whose venom is used to cure medical problems. By studying the way the snails deliver poison, scientists might be able to develop cures. In the wild, the cone snail harpoons their prey as they swim by. With more than 800 species of cone snails worldwide, the reclusive creatures have a sting that packs a punch. Even the smallest cone snail can deliver a sting that is as powerful as a bee sting, but it is the larger of the species that can kill an animal or human in a matter of hours. The deadliest of the cone snails found in the Indo-Pacific region is known as the cigarette snail. Measuring the length of a man's thumb, it has a toxin so strong that you apparently will only have enough time to finish a cigarette after being stung before you die from its attack. As deadly as this toxin can be, the poison contains several components such as peptides and proteins that have specific targets in the human physiological system, which is why they are such good medicines for treating severe chronic pain. Priced at $800 per milliliter, it is a thousand times more potent than morphine. Having no addictive qualities, it drives the price up, showing that growing poison can be a lucrative business. Number four, found mostly in rainforests and the plains of India, Southern China, and Asia, the king cobra does not have the most potent bite, but that doesn't stop its venom from being one of the more pricey liquids. Although each bite has only two tenths of a fluid ounce of venom, it still packs a punch with enough toxin to kill 20 people. Loaded with neurotoxins, one bite brings about respiratory arrest and cardiac failure in victims. With a price tag of over $150,000 per gallon, getting bitten is not for those on a budget. So what makes it so expensive? Apparently, there's a protein in the blood known as ohanian, which can be used for treating chronic pain. As the longest of all venomous snakes, king cobras can reach 18 feet in length. Even if you're not a fan of these creatures, that doesn't mean they should suffer for their traits. The species continues to be under threat, with heavy deforestation in Southeast Asia as the culprit, as well as being harvested in large numbers for their skin, as food, and for medical purposes. They also get a bit of a bad rap from people who believe they are a menacing species. Number three, desert death adder. It might not be much of a surprise to know that another of the deadliest creatures that produces a pricey liquid can be found in Australia. The desert death adder is a species of snake whose venomous neurotoxin can garner up to $3,000 per gram. A nocturnal snake found in Australia and Papua New Guinea, deaths from being bitten by the death adder were more than 50% before antivenom was created in Australia in 1958. Another venom that is mostly neurotoxic, the death adder bite causes a loss of control in the muscular system and can result in respiratory failure and death unless assisted breathing is given. Those who are bitten suffer abdominal pain, headaches, drowsiness, and enlargement of the lymph nodes. Often, snake bite victims don't show any symptoms because the venom is not always injected with each bite. These warning bites from adders tend to be a decisive choice by the snake to not inject venom, depending on the level of threat they feel from the one they attack. Though, knowing it is up to the snake to deliver either a deadly bite or just a warning bite might not make you want to get up close and personal with this desert snake. Number two, bubbling casino frog. Frogs are not particularly scary creatures, but the bubbling casino is a different breed. Not like other frogs, the casino has shorter back legs, allowing them to walk and run instead of hopping. But this isn't even the most interesting thing about this amphibian. It gets its name from the sound it makes, a bubbling that sounds similar to a dripping tap. Found in grasslands and savannas, these frogs have a type of defensive secretion that covers their skin in slime, and it is this slime that makes them so coveted. The casinin, a chemical that helps in rapid gut tissue contraction, makes this seemingly average frog slime come in at $1,600 per gram. Also known as the Senegal running frog, this type of tree frog makes a sound like tiny bubbles popping. Ranging from light greenish gray to tan, they are found in South Africa. With their many markings and stripes, they are able to easily camouflage themselves between blades of grass. Even though most frogs are poisonous to discourage predators, they aren't necessarily toxic to humans. It depends on the type of frog, 
the concentration of the substance they secrete, and how the substance is delivered. In the case of the bubbling casina, it's probably best to just enjoy the species from afar. Number one, coral snake. A vibrantly colored, highly venomous snake with species found in the United States and Asia, the coral snake is highly dangerous. With the second strongest venom of any snake after the black mamba, considered less dangerous than rattlesnakes because they have a less effective poison delivery system, coral snakes are a slender, small species with a bulbous head and a rounded nose. Other snakes are known to distinguish themselves as coral snakes with similar body patterns to full predators, but it is the coral snake that has a venom that can cost over $4,000 per gram. Similar to other venoms, the coral snake is used in medical research and may have antiviral and antibacterial properties, but researchers are trying to find ways to create the venom without having to capture these deadly snakes, and they had some success. Researchers in the Netherlands secreted a venom-producing gland from the coral snake using stem cells from the animals. Produced by miniature 3D replicas of snake glands, they were all but identical to the snake's venom. Similarly, researchers acquired the egg of a Cape coral snake from a breeder. After removing the embryo's venom glands, they extract the cells and eventually produce lab-grown venom glands that could generate the same chemical cocktails that come from the real glands from a snake. Researchers continued with their work and were able to grow the organs from eight different species, which were all sourced similarly from the eggs acquired from breeders or from euthanized animals from zoos. This groundbreaking research would make it easier and safer for scientists to create antivenoms for medical research and treatment, saving lives of humans and the animals who bite them. Thanks for watching. Hope that wasn't too gruesome for you. Be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up for more. See you later.